Well, while local beach officials worry about reining in unruly crowds this summer, they'll also need to contend with the start of the Atlantic hurricane season. Now, forecasters are calling for an average cycle, but warn that even typical years have the ability to unleash devastating storms. Just ask survivors of Hurricanes Ida and Sandy, who were at the State House today, continuing to push for passage of storm recovery bills years after their lives were upended. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. Today is the start of the Atlantic hurricane season, which is kind of part of the reason we're here today. New Jersey storm survivors mark the start of hurricane season by reminding Trenton lawmakers they're still suffering from damage inflicted by Ida in 2021 and even Sandy almost 11 years ago. These victims posted photos showing wrecked and flooded houses, described wrestling with a government bureaucracy that they feel abandoned them to death and despair. Sandy families are standing with Ida families because we're all facing the same broken system across storms, years, and county lines. To know nobody was there to help, and we have FEMA, which is for Federal Emergency Management Agency, that's not true. They All they did was give me your information, call again, give me your information, call again. Ida survivor Shoshuna Atwater says many fell through the cracks. After Sandy, FEMA distributed $2 billion in public assistance grants in New Jersey, and it provided $178 million in Ida's aftermath. But Atwater's family lives in a Newark rental that Ida flooded with hazardous sewage waste, and they cleaned it up themselves while living there. The smell, the mopping of my walls, hosing them down because I had a line of a brown stain all around my basement from the water. She says they got a little bit of money from the Ironbound Community Corporation, which helped them buy clothes and cleaning supplies. Unfortunately, because we are on a fixed income and it was the middle of COVID, we weren't working, so it was a double whammy. It it doesn't feel like it's two years later. It still feels like it just happened. Stephanie and Chris Hosgood live in Manville's Lost Valley, hit hard by Ida. President Biden saw the devastation there for himself. The Hosgood's home and cars flooded and needed significant replacement and repairs, much of it paid for out of their own pocket. Half of our house is still not finished. We still have studs. We only have one floor. Um, we just can't afford to fix it. Advocates support three pieces of legislation they say could offer relief to both Sandy and Ida survivors. One bill appropriates $100 million for Ida victims, another provides $22 million for Sandy families and forgives the so-called clawbacks that seek to recover grants made to elevate the homes of storm victims like 80-year-old Ventnor retiree Fran Baranowitz. The state wants her to pay back 35 grand. I don't have it. I mean, I'm retired. I live on Social Security and the little bit of pension that I get from my job. A third bill offers 18 months of mortgage payment forbearance for Ida survivors and would protect an estimated 2,000 of them now facing foreclosure. It would give families a fighting chance to recover. Mortgage forbearance would be a major lifeline. It would give us the time and money we need to start paying for the repairs we need, eliminate debt from repairs we already did and positions we had to replace and give us the breathing room we need to get back on our feet. That bill unanimously cleared a Senate committee, but most legislation's on hold for now as lawmakers work on the state budget and campaign for re-election. At the State House in Trenton, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.